Welcome to the Community Air Protection Program online training series. In this training, we'll be talking about the Community Air Protection Blueprint. We'll start with a quick overview of the Community Air Protection Program, then walk through the different blueprint chapters so you'll know what's in the document. The Community Air Protection Program is a statewide program designed to address air pollution at the community level, developed in response to AB 617. The program includes a variety of statewide and community scale actions to reduce pollution and improve our understanding of air quality at the community scale. The board approved the Community Air Protection Blueprint in September of 2018. The blueprint covers community selection, new statewide strategies, and criteria for community air monitoring and emission reduction programs. The blueprint establishes the minimum requirements any plans developed under AB 617 must follow. The blueprint is divided into two parts. The main section, which provides an overview of all the program elements, and a series of appendices which contain detailed requirements and helpful resources. Let's talk through some of these appendices so you know where you can go to find the information you need. Appendix A is a great starting place, providing background on the program timeline, roles and responsibilities, and how the blueprint language maps to terms found in statute. Appendix B covers the process to identify impacted communities. It also includes criteria that CARB uses to select communities for focused action. The assessment includes factors like exposure to air pollution, people who are most sensitive to air pollution, and other measures of vulnerability to air pollution like public health data and socioeconomic factors. Appendix C includes the criteria for the local plans to improve air quality known as Community Emissions Reduction Programs. These criteria establish requirements for community partnerships and engagement to guide the development and implementation of the programs. The criteria also cover required elements, including a strong technical foundation, goals and targets, specific strategies to reduce emissions and exposure, and mechanisms to track progress over time. Appendices D and F include information on statewide strategies, tools, and resources to support community scale emission reductions. This includes a suite of new strategies to reduce emissions from transportation, freight, and stationary sources with a focus on zero emissions. CARB is also developing a variety of tools and resources to support communities, air districts, and other stakeholders in achieving exposure reductions. These include the Technology Clearinghouse with information on control technologies and regulations which control how much pollution can be emitted from different sources, and the Online Resource Center which provides information on strategy development, technical assistance, and community engagement. Appendix E is the statewide monitoring plan which covers the 14 required elements for developing local plans to measure air pollution. These elements cover the reason for conducting community air monitoring, how the monitoring will be conducted, and how the data will be used to take action. Appendix E also addresses different measurement technologies and existing community air monitoring systems. The remaining appendices provide some additional references and resources, including background on the environmental analysis CARB conducted on the blueprint under the California Environmental Quality Act, also known as CEQA, which requires us to consider impacts on the environment, the bill text for Assembly Bill 617, which is a great reference point for understanding the underlying program requirements and structure, a glossary that defines the terms used in this program, and the board resolutions that approve the blueprint and the first year of community selection.
The blueprint governs the implementation of the Community Air Protection Program and applies to all air districts and selected communities. The blueprint is also a resource for everyone to understand requirements and engage in the program. Thank you for watching this training on the Community Air Protection Blueprint. For more information, visit our website.